Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Almighty God for giving us another opportunity to be able to meet on the of Second Ambassadors. This is the last Sunday in the 11th month of the year. We appreciate His faithfulness in keeping us to this time. And we pray that by His mercies, if the Tyson is coming, He will see us to the end of the year in Jesus' name. And today, by the grace of God, we want to uh, remind ourselves of about the need to run the Christian race with all form of diligence. And so our topic for today's discussion is run the Christian race to win the prize. Run the Christian race to win the prize. And we're taking the part one today, and by his mercy, we'll be taking the part two and part three in the coming weeks. Our text our name, our text is taken from the book of First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty four. First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty four. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you for the grace to see another day. Thank you for keeping us to the last Sunday of and the month of November, year 2022. We appreciate it for your faithfulness. We glorify it in Jesus' name. We pray that even as we go into this discussion, we pray, Lord God, you speak to us, pray you encourage us, and more importantly, you strengthen us to be able to run our Christian race diligently to win the prize in Jesus' name. Amen. So just like I mentioned earlier, our topic of discussion today is run the Christian race to win the prize. Run the Christian race to win the prize. Um, it is important for us to know that when it comes to um, a race, um, athletes understand you know, what a race, a race means. You know, they understand it better. And because athletes, when you see them preparing, and sometimes you see them preparing for something that is coming up in four years' time, and like the case of World Cups, like uh, Olympics, um, sometimes it could be for two years. So you see athletes preparing. Why? Because they want to win the prize. They're not just um, going there to participate, uh, participate, uh, participate, not for them to just be maybe one of those participants that uh, will be gracing the occasion, but more importantly for them is for them to win the prize. And of course, the prize they want to win is the gold prize. Brothers and sisters, I want us to know that God also expects us as Christians um, to have that kind of mindset as regards our work with Him. It is not just for us to say we are Christians. It's not just for us to say we go to church on Sundays or we have a Bible or we pray. It's for us to know that we are in a race. And not just in a race, but the fact that we need to run diligently to be able to win the prize. I pray God will give us understanding in the name of Jesus. And if we um, just like currently now, we have the World Cup that is ongoing, and we have the uh, 2022 FIFA World Cup, which is uh, hosted, uh, hosted um, in which uh, Qatar is hosted in Qatar, and we have 32 countries um, being represented in, uh, in this competition. And I would like us to remember the fact that many of these countries, or let me say, many of these teams, have been playing for years, you know, just because of this um, tournament that just last for one month. So preparations have been for, for years, you know, a lot of investment has gone into this uh, for them to be able to win the World Cup. Brothers and sisters, it's important for us that for us to know that as Christians, we also need to prepare for that ultimate prize, for that prize that God wants and God has prepared for you and I. And that is why it's important for us that in everything that we do at this time, we must run diligently for us not to and lose our reward or to lose the price. I pray God will give us uh, the grace to be able to run the way we should in the name of Jesus. And just like I gave an uh, example of the World Cup, I'd like us to remember that, like I said, we have had two teams from different countries participating in the World Cup. Some of them will uh, not win the prize. But the most important thing that we must get from, the, uh, from them participating in the competition is the fact that all everybody wants to win. So they are all prepared to win. In fact, many can, many of them are, are many of the, or let me say, all the teams are ready to do whatever it will take them to be able to win the prize. From starting from their coaches and from the um, maybe the sport directors, um, the doctors, and even the players, all of them want to win. The goal of them participating of them participating in the competition is to win the World Cup. And so that's why it is important for us as Christians and that the reason why, or let me say, one of the most, one of the um, major reason why we are in the as one of the major reason why we are Christians today should not just be because we want to um, be 
Christians, you know, just because we just want to be part of the race. No, it should be that we want to win the prize. So it's not just about running the race. It's about winning the prize. It's about winning the prize that God has designed for you and I. And I pray that God will give us your grace and to be able to run diligently so as to win the prize that God has for us in Jesus' name. And that's why, um, just like I said, that God himself encourages us uh, to be able to run diligently as Christians, to be able to win the prize. Apostle Paul also in our, in our text, that's Paul's question, chapter 9, verse 54, also gave us the same advice. He says, surely, I'm reading from the goodness translation, he says, surely, you know that many runners take part in a race, but only one of them win the prize. Only so then, in such, so it's not, so it's not advising us that we should also run in such a way as to win the prize. So it's not just for us to just say, oh, we are Christians, oh, I belong to this church, oh, I, I do this or I do that for God. No, it's about understanding the fact that we are in a race and we are running. And not we are not the only one running. Many people are also running with us. But then our goal, our chief goal should be to win the prize. I pray God will give us understanding in the name of Jesus. And um, I have, personally, I have these major concerns. And I pray that God will give us, you know, help us to be able to address all of this, uh, all of this as much as possible um, in Christendom. And the first one is the fact that, you know, currently it seems as if um, the Christian standard, the Christian standard um, has actually been lowered, you know, to accommodate more people. You know, from the way we, we, we do things now, um, the way we speak, the way we dance, the way we dress, you know, the way we comport ourselves, the way we even, you know, preach the gospel. You know, so to some extent, it's as if, you know, in a way we have lowered the Christian standard so that we can have more people in the fold, and the, which shouldn't be because we make us understand that the, the um, foundation of the God, you know, stands sure, and God himself knows those that are his, you know, and of course, he encourages us also to depart from iniquity. Brothers and sisters, you know, we can't say that um, because we want people to be part of us, some people to join the race, and then we, we then lower the standard. No, that is not supposed to be. God is a God of standard. We have the Christian standard, and he expects that we uphold that standard for us to be able to win the prize. Another thing that is also um, currently worrisome is the fact that some of us, you know, seems to be tired. You know, many times we have heard that Jesus is coming, and just because Jesus you know, has started to come. In fact, many people have said that they've been seeing Jesus to come for many, many, for many years. That even before they were born, they've been seeing Jesus to come. So they are not interested in the fact that Jesus is coming. Some are not even preparing again. Some are just tired of the fact that Jesus, uh, as we said, uh, that, you know, they've been saying that Jesus will come and Jesus hasn't come. So brothers and sisters, we should not get tired. We should remember that the most important thing is to ensure that our relationship with God is fine. And once our relationship with God is fine, then we begin to enjoy eternity, even right from our stay here on earth. So it's not until we get to heaven that we'll you know, enjoy eternity. Eternity starts from now. So once we are having a relationship with God, we are in good relationship with our, our maker, Jesus is in our lives, then we begin to enjoy eternity even from now. And of course, that will also help us to be able to run the Christian race the Christian race more effectively. And then the third major concern is the fact that many are just in this race, in this Christian race, just because of the fear of hellfire. You know, they, they know that heaven is good and hellfire is for and the devil and and, and, and the scorers, but then they don't want to be part of the people that will go to hellfire. So we are only just born again, they are just saying they are born again just because they don't want to go to hell. Brothers and sisters, if you are part of that category, I want you to know that that is not the best way to live. The best way to live is to understand the fact that God loves you. It's not about the fear of hellfire. It's about the love of your maker. It's about the love that you have for the Lord Jesus. And so I want to encourage you today that your reason for being a Christian, your reason and for being part of the Christian race should not be because you are afraid of the fact that you may go to a fire. No, it should be the fact on the fact it should be on the basis of the fact that you love God and you want to serve God, that you love righteousness and you want to uphold righteousness, and that you also want Christ to to live in you. And I pray that God give us the grace to be able to live 
up to this situation in the name of Jesus. And so just like I mentioned earlier, the essence of this message is to remind us about the need for us as Christians to run the Christian race more diligently, for us not to be tired, for us not to and be willing for us not to lower the Christian standard, but to uphold righteousness as God will help us all in Jesus' name. So this is just the part one of it, uh, the message. Uh, by the grace of God, we hope to, we trust God that uh, in the coming weeks, we'll be able to have the part two and the part three of this message. And then the conclusion, the conclusion today is just a question, and it's just for you and I to answer. Are we still running the Christian race diligently? Are you still running the Christian race diligently? I think God will give us the grace to be able to answer in the affirmative in the name of Jesus. So finally, as we close this uh, afternoon, we have this prayer point, and the prayer point is, Our dear Holy Father, give us the grace and strength to run the Christian race diligently, and we also pray that you uphold us with your right hand in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for your word this day. We pray that you give us the grace, the strength, and to be able to run the Christian race diligently. And we also pray that you will put us with your right hand in the name of Jesus. Even as we go this week, as we go in the rest of the month, in the rest of the year, give us the grace to run the Christian race more diligently to be able to win the prize. And we also pray for um, the coming part two and part three of this message, that Lord, you will bless them. And at the end, let your name be glorified. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. So we want to thank you all for um, being part of today's um, discussion. Um, but then it is important for us to remember the goal, uh, which is for us to check our lives and to ask ourselves that basic question, are we still running the, running the Christian race diligently? God expects you and I to run the Christian race so as to win the prize. And I pray God will give us the grace and strength and to be able to achieve this in Jesus' name. Um, I also want to emphasize the fact that the essence of this platform is not just for us to discuss, but for us also to remember that one of the things we need to do to run the Christianity immediately is to be a soul winner. God wants us to win souls. And so if you are listening to us at this time and you are yet to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior, we want to present God is presenting you this opportunity again to give your life to him. And so if you want to do that, can you just say after just Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you because you, you, you have made, me, made it possible for me to be among the living and uh, according to the fact that I'm a sinner. And please, today, I also want to be part of the Christian race. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. And with the blood of Jesus, I cleanse myself from all sins and unrighteousness. And I declare that in the name of Jesus that I am born again. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. So if you have said that prayer with me, I want to congratulate you for making the best decision anybody can ever make. I want to assure you that your name has been written in the book of life. So I want to encourage you to please join a Bible church around you and get a Bible. If you don't have one, you can contact us on the, uh, via the email address on the screen. And of course, we also want to encourage you to please be a man and woman of prayer because prayer itself is a way of us communicating with God and our Maker. So I want to thank you for listening to us at this time. And please, if you have anything or question or if you want us uh, to um, provide you with more explanations, feel free to send us an email and God of heaven will give us the grace to be able to reply accordingly in Jesus' name. And so if you are also here to subscribe to our channel, we want to encourage you to do so, so that together we can continue to grow as second coming of Christ ambassadors. So this one say a big thank you to you all for your time, for listening to us, and we pray that good Lord will see us to the end of the month and of the year the thousand is coming in Jesus' name. So thank you for joining us and we wish us all a very wonderful week and a blessed evening. God bless you.